If you're in the mood for a cocktail and you love lemon, then a classic lemon drop martini is going to quench your thirst. It's sweet and tart. It's one of my favorite cocktails. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Dorothy with crazyforcrest.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are talking all about cocktails and I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite, favorite martini. It's a lemon drop. Um, it's one of my favorite ones to order when we go out to a restaurant or a bar, but I absolutely love making it at home because I can control some of the ingredients and it's cheaper and I can have it whenever I want. For more delicious desserts and easy cocktail recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. This recipe has just four simple ingredients. If your local grocery store sells alcohol, it's gonna have all the ingredients that you need. Um, first, you need vodka. Be sure to use a top shelf. I love using Tito's. Just use your favorite because you're gonna, if the majority of this drink is vodka, you want one that you actually enjoy. Um, we're gonna add lemon juice to this um, from fresh lemons. Don't use bottled, get some fresh lemons for this. Um, you're gonna need some Cointreau or like triple sec. It's orange liqueur. This is the name brand, the most expensive one, but you can get uh, most of the, there's a lot of those like kind of knockoff brands. It's the cheaper brands. You can use either one that you like. Um, and then you need a little bit of simple syrup and that's basically like sugary water. Um, I usually like to just buy bottles of it um, at the grocery store or the liquor store. Simple syrup, it'll come like this. You can get bigger bottles too. It lasts a really long time. First, before we make our cocktail, we have to juice our lemons. Now here's a little tip for you. Um, you can heat your lemon in the microwave for a few seconds if it's cold from the refrigerator. My favorite way to get the juices flowing in a lemon is to roll it um, on the counter under my palm, just roll it back and forth. It'll kind of release all the juices and make it easier to squeeze all that juice out. Um, when I am juicing a lemon, I highly recommend using a lemon juice tool. You'll get even more juice out than if you're just um, using your hands. So go ahead and squeeze out. I'm using two lemons today because I'm making two cocktails. Um, it's about, you need two ounces of lemon juice per cocktail, um, depending on the size of your lemons. Just buy a few because you might need more than one depending on the size, depending on how juicy they are. Then we're also gonna take some lemon peel to add for garnish. Now, I am not the greatest when it comes to making these lemon peel twirl things. Um, you can just slice some lemon and put it on, this, on the edge of the cocktail glass if you want. Um, or I found the wafer that is easiest for me to make one of those lemon twists is to slice some lemon thinly and then cut it in half and then kind of cut the peel off of the lemon itself. Um, and then you have the peel, just go ahead and twist that a little bit and that'll be our garnish for the cocktail. And the last step before we make our cocktail is to rim the glass with sugar. That's one of the things I love about a lemon drop is it has that sweet rim, so that tart, lemony, strong alcohol martini, um, hits your mouth with that sweetness from the sugared rim. Super simple to sugar the rim of your martini glass. Just run um, a slice of that lemon around it to wet and then dip the glass upside down on a plate of granulated sugar and the sugar will stick to the rim. And that's how you rim your glass with sugar. All right, now it is time to make our cocktail, finally, right? All right, so super simple. I have my martini shaker filled with ice and then I'm going to add in three ounces of vodka. It's a lot of vodka when you're pouring it out, but it's three ounces of vodka. Martinis are mostly vodka, right? So you wanna have three ounces of that. Then I'm gonna add two ounces of my lemon juice and a half of an ounce of the orange liqueur. Now, simple syrup, this is to taste. If you don't like sweet drinks, add, you, you can even omit the simple syrup if you prefer. Um, if you like just a little bit of sweetness, you can add about a quarter to a half of an ounce. If you like sweet drinks, add up to an ounce. I suggest um, adding a little bit less. You can't take it out, but you can always add more. So I suggest starting with about a half ounce unless you really don't like sugar in your drinks um, and then working up um, as you make more cocktails throughout the evening. Once you have all your ingredients in your shaker, place the lid on it and go ahead and shake your cocktail and then strain it into your glass. Once it's strained, add your lemon twist and you have a lemon drop martini. This is one of my favorite cocktails. It has that sweet and tart flavor, the tartness from that lemon juice um, and the vodka and then the sweetness from that rim. It has that bright lemon flavor. This is one of my favorite cocktails to make at home. I know you're gonna love it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what other cocktail recipes you want me to share. Keep watching for more videos. Cheers.